You're a highly qualified professional in your field, right? You've checked all the boxes. You're educated, respected, capable. You stay late. You take on extra projects, yet you're frustrated by the lack of progress you're making in your career. So what's that all about? I've got an idea and some solutions, so stay with me. Welcome to this episode of the Truth and Vision Channel with your guide, transformation expert, Melanie Fitzpatrick. Recently, I read an article in Fast Company that interviewed eight female leaders on what was holding them back in their careers. The top career blockers they identified were gender bias, societal pressures, and insecurity. According to authors Caddy Kay and Claire Shipman in their book, The Confidence Code, women tend to struggle with a lack of confidence more so than men and are more likely to be perfectionists and hold themselves back from asking for a raise and an advancement. As an ambitious professional woman myself, I've had the experience of feeling like I was playing small and not always speaking my mind. When we play small, we feel small. I saw how it held me back from showing up fully in my power in situations where I was the expert. So while we may not be able to control a gender bias or all societal pressures, we can address the confidence factor. I look at confidence like it's a muscle that needs to be exercised daily in order for it to grow and remain strong. So here are four muscle building exercises to gain the confidence factor. First, own your value. Identify what you're really good at and own it. Be proud of it, promote it, and remind yourself frequently what your assets are. As women, we receive a lot of negative messages from society and from our own inner critic. You can't shut down those messages though by routinely acknowledging the evidence, all of your accomplishments. Owning your gifts and talents and doing them often builds your confidence muscle. Next, stop overdoing. When you spread yourself so thin by taking on too many projects, you end up feeling less than satisfied with the quality of your work. And that tends to undermine your confidence because it's sending the message, I'm not good enough. Instead, focus on two or three projects that excite you and fall into your area of expertise. This way you can position yourself to have the highest level of impact on the outcome. You'll find this approach is rather confidence boosting. The most important step, take a leap. Once you've gained more confidence, take a risk by taking a leap towards something that is more challenging than you've ever done before. As women, we need to leave our comfort zones occasionally. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to have every attribute for a new role because part of the purpose of taking a leap is to learn and to rise up to that challenge. And if you fail, it's okay. It just is feedback and it shows that you've got the guts to be a player in the game. Finally, speak up. Own your voice. Communicate your expertise with confidence in your speaking, writing, and body language. Read more about this in my blog, Essential Exercises to Building a Confidence Factor at www.liveinyourtruth.life. If the only thing separating you and rising in your career is confidence, then practice owning your strengths, your knowing, your capabilities, and especially your joy. So have fun and take leaps often. You deserve to be at the table, and you will when you show up with confidence. I hope you've enjoyed my video on confidence building. If so, check out all my success videos on my LinkedIn page at Melanie Fitzpatrick or PittsburghBizTVShows.com. Thank you for watching, and as always, be true to you and your vision. Thanks for watching the Truth and Vision channel. To launch your true potential, visit LiveInYourTruth.life. Also, browse the other shows found on this Biz TV Shows network.